Oh, hey everyone. I'm just getting ready for an ice cream party with my friends. You should join us. Let's go meet them. Today, let's sing a song called Unstoppable God. Nothing is impossible with God, nothing. And I think you will see in today's Bible story just how mighty and powerful our God is. So let's sing his praise. Heaven thundered and the world was born. Life begins and ends in the dust you form. Faith commanded and the mountains move. Fear is losing ground to our hope in you. Unstoppable God, let your glory go on and on. Impossible things in your name they shall be done nothing shall be impossible your kingdom reigns unstoppable we'll shout your praise forevermore Jesus our God unstoppable nothing shall be impossible your kingdom reigns unstoppable. We'll shout your praise forevermore. Jesus, our God, unstoppable. Nothing shall be impossible. Your kingdom reigns unstoppable. We'll shout your praise forevermore. Jesus, our God, unstoppable. Unstoppable God, let your glory go on and on. Impossible things in your name, they shall be done. Unstoppable God, let your glory go on and on. Impossible things in your name, they shall be done. The Bible Basics God's Word is true for all people, for all places, and for all times. The Bible has 66 books written by 40 authors over 1,500 years that fit together to tell one story about who God is and how much he loves you. Nice, nice job. job. Let's learn this month's memory verse. It's from the book of Joshua, chapter one, verse nine. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Try it with me and we'll add some motions. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9. Great job. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Nice job. Oh, wow. This place looks amazing, Melissa. I love the balloons. And the pom-poms. Thanks. I'm so excited for ice cream party. 
Speaking of which, were you guys bringing the ice cream? <gasps> I've got the ice cream. I brought the fun toppings. I've got cones. Oh, and spoons. So should we dig in? Wait! What about Aaron? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot to tell you. She's running a little bit late, but she'll be here soon. She said we could get started without her. Okay. Okay. Ice cream cones look delicious! <gasps> no! No! More ice cream! <laughs> I've been looking forward to that all week. Well, that is certainly disappointing. What are we supposed to do now? Make more ice cream cones? Well, that's doubly disappointing. What are we going to do now? Erin is bringing cookies. Yay! Hey, everyone. I brought cookies. <gasps> Good, but like, can you guys explain all of this? Well, first the balloon popped and we all dropped our ice cream. Disappointing. So then we went to get more ice cream, but it was all gone. Doubly disappointing. And then you walked in and here we are. No ice cream and now no cookies. Triply disappointing. Oh man, that really is disappointing. <gasps> Quadruply disappointing? Well, what are we gonna do now? <gasps> I know! Maybe there's a Bible story about being disappointed. Let's look! Here we go. How about the story of Hannah and Samuel? It's in the Old Testament, in the book of 1 Samuel. Let's watch it together. Slapstick Theater, Hannah and God. This is Hannah. Hi. Hannah was married to a man named Elkanah. Hey. But they were not able to have any children. This made Hannah sad. Aw. It's okay. Come on. Every year, Hannah and Elkanah would go to the house of the Lord at Shiloh to pray to God and offer sacrifices. Hannah would cry out and pray to the Lord. She told God that if he gave her a son, she would give him back to him and that her son would serve God all the days of his life. <laughs> Hannah was so upset that one of the priests, Eli, thought there was something off about her. But Hannah told him that she had been praying because she had a broken heart. <laughs> Eli told her, May the God of Israel grant the requests you've made. Thank you! And then Hannah was no longer sad. In due time, Hannah became pregnant and gave birth to a son. Yeah! She named him Samuel, for she said, I asked the Lord for him. Hannah did as she said she would, and once Samuel was a little older, she took him to the temple. Hannah prayed and gave thanks to God, and Samuel grew up in the temple serving the Lord. 
In our story, we learned that Hannah was not able to have children and was heartbroken that she would never have a family. And to make things worse, people would tease and make fun of her. Through her struggles and disappointments, Hannah reached out faithfully to God. She prayed to Him and talked to Him continuously. Eventually, God blessed Hannah with a son. But more important than how God answered her prayer is how Hannah's story teaches us to pray. Be persistent and pray with all your heart. God wants us to be like Hannah when we're praying, giving our whole heart to the Lord. 1 Samuel 1.15, I was pouring out my soul to the Lord. Hannah prayed persistently. That means she prayed even when it was hard. We should pray all the time and with the confidence that God will hear us. The more we talk to God, the more we get to know Him. Praying is also a way we can worship God. Pray for the right reasons. God wants us to talk to Him about anything and everything. He wants us to praise Him, thank Him, and even ask Him for things. But most importantly, when we pray, we need to always remember that praying isn't about us. It's about God. God isn't like a vending machine where we put in our prayers and out pops our wishes. God is in control and knows what is best for us. So when we pray and ask for things, we want to be sure that we are asking things according to God's will for our life, that these things will glorify Him. In the Lord's Prayer, we say, Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done. And when we pray, we acknowledge that we are not in control. Be patient and know that God will answer your prayers. Hannah prayed for a very long time. She never gave up and eventually in his perfect timing, God answered Hannah's prayer. It can be frustrating and hard to continue praying when we don't see our prayers being answered right away. We learn from Hannah to keep on praying and be confident that God is with us, guiding us every step of the way and his love is never ending. Hannah faced challenging circumstances, felt discouraged, and was angry with God. Despite this, she did not stop praying. She prayed when she was unsure if she would ever have children, and she prayed when God blessed her with a son. When you are going through a difficult time, be encouraged by Hannah's story. Know that God will always hear your prayers and answer them according to His will and what is best for your life. Let's see what you learned from today's Bible story. Was today's story from the Old Testament or the New Testament? That's right, today's story is from the book of 1 Samuel. That's in the Old Testament. Next one, what was the name of the woman in today's story? Was it Savannah, Rihanna, Hannah, or Banana? Yes, the woman's name was Hannah, and she wanted to have a child more than anything. Let's try another. What did Hannah do when she was unable to have a child? Did she give up and turn away from God, or did she continue to pray to God? That's right, Hannah continued to pray to God even when she was sad, discouraged, and even angry. She prayed even when she was unsure if she would ever have a child. Last one, who always hears our prayers? Right, God always hears our prayers and he will answer them according to his will and his timing and what he knows is best for your life. Thanks for showing me what you learned from today's Bible story. See you next time. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. To God be the glory, great things he has done. Let's worship God for who he is and what he has done. All the glory goes to you, God. You are worthy of all of our praise. There is no God like our God. There has never been anyone, anything like you. Aren't you thankful that we serve a living God who loved us so much that he sent our rescuer, Jesus? Let's worship together as we sing the glory is yours. Oh God, the glory is yours. The kingdom is come and the battle is over. 
Jesus, in your name we rise and the glory is yours. The glory is yours. Blessing, honor, strength, and power. Yours alone now and forever. Love this world could never stop. There is no one like our God reaching down to touch the broken. Mercy breaking through this moment. Faithful is the one who saves. Worthy is your name. Oh God, the glory is yours. The kingdom is come and the battle is over. Jesus, in your name we rise and the glory is yours. The glory is yours. beside you there has never been anyone anything like you nobody beside you there has never been anyone anything like you nobody beside you there has never been anyone anything like you nobody beside you there has never been anyone anything like you nobody beside you there has never been anyone anything like you Oh God, the glory is yours, the kingdom is come, and the battle is over. Jesus, in your name we rise, and the glory is yours, the glory is yours. You know, actually, today turned out to be pretty fun. Yeah, and it was really cool learning the story about Hannah. I don't think I'd ever heard that one before. And... Making a mess was kind of fun. But what did we learn today? God hears our prayers. Let's say that again all together. God hears our prayers. Let's pray about that. And you can say what I say. Dear God, dear, dear God, God, thank you for hearing my prayers. Thank you for hearing my prayers. Thank you for knowing what's best for me. Thank, Thank you, you for, for knowing what's best for me. Help me to trust you. Help me to trust you. When things don't go my way. When, when things don't go my way. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thanks for joining us for Kids Church Online. See you next time. Wait, I think I hear the ice cream truck. Come on, guys.